The Insta360 Studio update is now here and it's the biggest update that we've seen so far. It's a total makeover and it has eight new features. My name's Rich and this channel is dedicated to making 360 easier for everyone as well as keeping you up to date with videos like this. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. Now let's get straight to it. As soon as you open the studio, you will notice it looks like a much more professional editor. We have a more visual timeline at the bottom and everything is clearer, more organized and just seems to move more smoothly. And yes, tracking is now available in Studio and it's called Deep Track. You simply select Deep Track by clicking on this icon and then click on the subject you want to track and then drag a square over the subject. The software will then track the subject in your shot. It's really simple to do and it works really effectively. You can now create a time shift effect in Studio by speeding up different sections of your clip. You simply select the time shift icon here and adjust the speed and then drag the cursor across the timeline over the section you want to speed up. You can then select another section at a different point on the timeline and add the same or different speed. Your HDR photos will now appear under the main viewing window as thumbnails so you can now double click and view each one separately. Your night shot photo groups and auto frame 360 video clips will also appear here. This new update makes all your clips so much better organised. You can organise your photos and your videos and group them separately by selecting either the photo or the video tab. There's also the addition of the favourite tab and you can now mark important footage and add it to your favourites by selecting the star icon. You can now check detailed file information of your clips including resolution, ISO, exposure time etc and this can all be found under the file properties tab in the top right hand corner. There are now more Nadir logo styles available and you can position the logo at the top, bottom, left or right of your image. For even more accurate editing you can now move along your timeline one frame at a time by using the arrow keys on your keyboard. There is also a more accurate editing marker for making your edit decisions on the timeline as well which can be turned on and off here. Insta360 Studio has come a long way and this update gives us a lot more features but I know that you won't be entirely happy and I know that you want more so let me know in the comments what would you like to see in the next update of the Insta360 Studio. You can watch these two videos next, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.